Hey yo, what's popping guys? Welcome back. Welcome back to another brand new video. Oh my days. We haven't we haven't visited the Beast Swim Simulator Custom Showcase in a minute. And I figured what better way to start my day other than live streaming by the way. Twitch or TV slash I'm joking, I don't stream on Twitch. I don't stream on Twitch. Make sure you guys have notifications turned on because I'm going live in a few hours. But uh, yeah, I mean what better way to start the day apart from live streaming? And to jump on the Beastorm Custom Showcase and check out the new fields. Now, I don't actually know how new these fields are, okay? But I don't remember ever seeing this cherry field here. Uh, and uh, this, we're just going to get straight stuck in and show you guys some of the new features that Riker, the admin or developer of this game, has, has added into the game. And, and we're just going to explore, see if there's any secrets we can find as well. So, cherry field. Let's, let's see some information about this. Also, by the way, join me on Discord. Also, join the Beast from Submit Discord. Also, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Links will be down below in the description. And please drop a like on this video if, of course, you guys are super, super, super excited for the new update coming out on the main game, Bee Swarm Simulator by Onet. Cherry field, red field, theme, cherries, 10 bees you'll need to get in uh, to have access to this field, and location, an extension to the 10. Wait, an extension? Oh, location. It will be an extension to the 10 bee location. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. And uh, dangers, one ladybug, uh, level 6. Wait, what? Ladybug level six since when? One scorpion level two. How does that make any sense? Wait, 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 wait. Okay, so ladybugs are level three and level two. Um, <laughs> and the ladybugs in there are gonna be level six. The scorpions here are level six and level five. The scorpions in that cherry field are gonna be level two. So it's interesting. Very, very. Oh, oh I'm getting wrecked by the vicious bee. I'm getting wrecked. One sec, guys. Let me just quickly shut this guy down because. Someone thinks they're cool popping out of the field out of nowhere. Trying to get me down. Nope. Not today. Didn't catch me lacking today, buddy. Oh, wait. <laughs> It'd probably help if I got my bees. Oh, my God. <laughs> Items, red boost, uncommon, and strawberry, rare. Now, obviously, I don't think the strawberry would be that rare. Well, I mean, obviously, you might just get it from the pollen field or collecting pollen itself. However, due to some of the... However, due to one of the most recent updates to be some similar, you can now actually get treats from pretty much any field really, really easily just by harvesting the leaves. Same size as the strawberry field. Nice. It's nice to know. Let me know down below in the comment section whether you guys think there should actually be a cherry tree in the actual game. So instead of the cherry field having strawberry treats, the cherry field would actually give us cherry treats. Would the cherry treats be rarer than strawberries? Would the cherry treats maybe be... I mean, worth more bond than strawberries? Strawberries are currently valued at 25 bond when they're given to... Wait, is it 25 bond? It's 25 bond regularly and then it's 50 so it's doubled when they're given to the the, the respective bees so the bees actually enjoy eating those treats now if the cherry was a bee's favorite treat it would give it 100 what do you guys think about that 100 bond for one treat insane obviously we got the grape field the onion field the watermelon field i thought that said watermelon field for a second i'm i need to go to sleep crystal field banana field uh, space field and you've got the tomato field and we've got the wolf field but you guys have probably already, already seen those so we're going to go straight into the boss room and check out some of the new npcs or new mobs that Riker has added into the game if you guys do want to come into the beast from a custom showcase and check out any of this stuff for yourself link will be in the description to this game i know a lot of people always ask me and i just want to clarify that this is not the actual server for Bee Swarm Simulator. This is not actual Bee Swarm Simulator. You can't even play Bee Swarm Simulator on, the, on this game, and you can't even make, get hot like pollen and stuff like on this game. Like it's, it's not about. This is li literally just a showcase for showcasing new features, custom features, and maybe potential updates that can actually come to the real game. Now, as you guys can see, uh, those of you who already seen my custom showcase videos, you've probably already seen all of these uh, monsters already. Or most of them anyways but you guys probably haven't seen these grubs now these little guys look super super ugly i'm not gonna lie like i feel like ugh, they're just making me squirmish oh my day squirmish squeamish whatever the heck it is rascal grub we've got the rad grub we've got the looker grub so obviously these guys they're all related to the type of bees in the game so we've got cool grub bumble grub bomber grub brave grub stubborn grub hasty grub and grub grub so the grub has 10 hp which is pretty pretty decent compared to i mean well i mean 10 hp <laughs> 10 hp is pretty weak to be fair level one to eight 20 damage on contact wow all right wander out uh, wanders around the field randomly spawn in any field so it's not just there um uh, like let's just say strawberry field for example you just go into a strawberry field you're grabbing some strawberry pollen yada 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 doing your thing 
and uh, this guy isn't actually there. Five minutes later, you decide to go back to the red HQ, you pop a boost, this guy just freaking appears out of nowhere, and he starts to eat your feet. Um, 20 damage on contact, obviously. We'll randomly spawn in any field, so cool, got that. Gives 4 BP, plus 2 per level, 300 honey, plus 100 per level, and 1.5% chance of a basic bee egg. Awesome. Spawns as a random variant in a random field, uh, 1 to 3 will spawn every in-game day. Not bad. A little, is that 1 to 3 will spawn every in-game day in total, or 1 to 3 will spawn every in-game day per field? Ah. Who knows? Who actually knows? Rykar, comment section, you already know, debunk me. Uh, a little ugly bug that just slowly wanders around. That's so rude, bro. Same thing, but I think he's just got... Oh, he's got less. He's actually got one HP less. And he starts at level 2. 20 damage of contact as well. And compared to the grub, obviously just plus 10 on the, on the uh, honey. And 5 plus 2 per level. Wait, what's this guy? Plus 1. So it's plus 1 BP extra and a chance of a hasty B egg. We've got the stubborn grub. Which is 22 damage, 15 HP, which is kind of, kind of a little bit stronger than the other one. And obviously, it has a chance of dropping a stubborn bee egg. We've got the brave bee, uh, the, the, the brave bee. We've got the brave grub. Chance of dropping a brave bee egg, of course. 30 damage on contact. Obviously, guys, these are very respective to their actual bee types in the game. So, uh, the brave bee, he will, he will throw hands, bro. I'm not even tripping, like, he, he hurts. Bomber grub, same thing, 30 damage on contact. But obviously the chance of, of a, a bomber bee egg. What else have we got? We've got the bumble grub. 20 damage of contact. Pretty weak. He's got a bit more HP than the regular grub. But of course he drops a bumble bee egg. Uh, or has a chance to drop a bumble bee egg. Bumble bee egg in fact. We've got the cool grub. Same thing. Has a chance of dropping a cool bee. Cool bee egg. And looker grub. Chance of dropping a looker bee. And we've got the rad grub. Chance of dropping a, ra uh, a rad bee of course. And we've got the rascal grub. Finally has a chance of dropping the rascal bee egg. Egg. I do think this should definitely be added into the game. I think we need to share this on Twitter. Guys, tweet this to Onet right now. Um, Riker is he's, he's also a genius. Riker is like a mini Onet genius. I'm not going to lie. These guys have a lot of things in common. Well, at least intelligence, um, I must say. A mob that has a chance of dropping pretty much every type of rare bee in the game. That is, that's pretty dope. I don't think there's anything else for me to show you guys. I am actually going to colon fly. Uh, we have to always do this as ritual when we're doing these videos. Just fly around. Can I no clip out? Okay, that doesn't really work. Obviously, we got this little tunnel here, which I'm pretty sure there's a there's a wild. What the heck? What the heck? What? Can I not get through there? Can I just only look through? You just see an owner boss. If that was actually in the game, I don't really know whether I'd run from it or run at it. But um, <laughs> I'm just gonna. He's looking at me. He's looking at me super, super, super weird. I'm getting there. All right, okay. All right. All right. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. I'm a teenage, you know, one on one become a great.